Okay. Let's uh, see where we left off now. Um, documents. I got sound. I got sound. Okay. Um, did I do? I think I just did up to. 303, was it? What's this now? Um, yeah, three, 303. So let's pick it up from there. Um, we'll need the product rule one times y plus x times dy dx, and then cos becomes minus sine, so that's sine xy times y plus x dy dx equals zero. So by rearranging, you'll get dy dx equals minus y minus y sine xy over x plus x sine xy. Let's check. Let's check if I got that right. Y moves over as minus Y and then Y sine goes the other side as minus Y sine and then there's a sine X and an X so looks okay to me okay 305 so um, you know I'm going to divide by y. So then I get a half x plus 4 to the power of minus a half. Bring down the power, reduce the power by 1. Half root. Yeah, okay. And then that's equal to 1. And then minus 8 over y squared dy dx. I think that's all okay. So we can get dy dx is a half x plus 4 power minus a half over 1 minus 8 times y power minus 2. Um, okay. 306. Okay, minus y minus x dy dx uh, 0 equals 1 over 7. So dy dx equals 1 over 7 plus y over minus x. 307. Ugh. dy dx sine xy plus y cos xy y plus x dy dx equals 2y dy dx so by rearranging let's see I've got let's let's get all the dy dx's together so that's sine xy dy dx plus xy x y cos x y x y cos x y d y d x minus two y actually I think I could do it all in one go d y d x equals big fraction so on the top it would just be y squared 
cos xy, because that multiplies that to make a non dy dx term. And uh, that's about it. Everything else is a coefficient of dy dx. So that would be sine xy plus xy cos xy minus 2y. Um, and I should be careful here. There's a minus here. Okay. 308. 2 xy power 1 and then y plus x dy dx plus 3 equals 2y dy dx so dy dx equals on the top minus 2xy squared minus 3 and then adds 2x squared y minus 2y. Okay, and 309, that's going to be 3x squared y plus x cubed dy dx plus y cubed plus 3xy squared dy dx equals 0. So dy dx will equal minus 3x squared y minus y cubed over x cubed plus 3xy squared. Let's check the answers that we can. This is um, up to 309. Okay, so 309 minus 3, uh, uh, correct on the top. Oh. I wrote y squared. x cubed minus y. Oh, yeah, sorry, I just copied that down wrong. That's y cubed, and I wrote it as a square. Now it's correct. Okay, 307, y squared, and uh, maybe the minus is brought down. Yeah, xy, cos xy, sine xy. Yep, yeah, okay. Uh, 305 root x plus 4 on the denominator. Yeah, that's right. Um, I could probably clean up the 2 if I... Oh no, there's the 2 there. Um, um, multiply by y squared. Not sure if I can match this up because of the way I've done it. Root x plus 4 in the denominator, uh, but now it's a multiplication uh, with a minus x. I have a 1, I can multiply by x. You know what? Maybe, maybe my trick of dividing sounded good, but. I should perhaps do it the way they probably expected people to do it so I can get the answer matched up. 305. So that will be dy dx root x plus 4 plus y. And then bring down the power, reduce the power by 1, multiply by the inside derivative. And that's y plus x dy dx. So then rearranging here, dy dx equals minus y over 2 root x plus 4 um, minus y over root x plus 4 plus x, no, um, minus x. Okay, that's right. And I just have a sign mistake on the top. That's right. But it's not minus y here because the y is already on the right. So it's a plus. Yeah, okay, so that's right. All right, let's just double check 304. I don't think I made any mistakes here because I checked that one carefully. So it's only 308. 
the three should be negative um 2xy squared on the other side should be negative and x minus uh, 2x squared y is positive and then minus 2y i think that's all right and then 306 one step do yeah, i think that's okay as well minus y minus x to y dx two is gone yeah I, I think it's right i think it's right okay well that wraps it up there nicely for today um thanks for watching and i'll see you all next time